Open Broadcaster I'm still using right now. So this is what it looks like. So this is an example of the recording of Open Broadcaster. Open Broadcaster software is great for streaming live video to the internet. So if you want to do a live broadcast, a lot of people use it for gaming, live broadcasts of their gaming or recording to a file um, of computer games. Um, this next one, Crute, is a little more rudimentary, not so pretty, and uh, not as user friendly either. But it works. And so I'll do a test video. Um, my screen resolution is 1366 by 768. So I'll just set that and then we'll do recording. Okay, okay so I'm recording, recording right now. This is a recording using Crute. So this is what the screencast will look like. Um, this will be one I'll throw at the end of the video. So I'll stop now. All right, and that was Crute. Um, this next one is EasyVid. And this one is not open source. It's just freeware, and I think you can pay to get um, more features, unlock more features for it. Um, if you're not very familiar with video codecs and some of the different settings of video and audio, this might be your best bet. It's very easy to use, user-friendly. Um, you just download it and away you go. So I'm going to start a new project right now on EasyVid. We'll just call it uh, new. And then see so you, you can actually put keywords and, and tag your video. And down here at the bottom you can upload it directly to YouTube when you're done recording it. So I'll just do a test recording right now. Um, capture screen. So I'll just start capture now. So it gives you a countdown. And then you can also do some things, like it lets you draw. So I can draw on the video. I can do these uh, different little things. Um, I think I can just draw too, can't I? Yeah, so it's the only one that I know of that has the tools. I don't think the rest of these have drawing tools on the screen like that. So then I'll stop this. Um, then you can also do some editing down here right in the video. So. That's that. One thing is, it's not really easy to get to the video source. You can't really save to a file, so you have to upload it to YouTube, which is one thing I don't like about EasyVid. And this last one, VLC Media Player, is just a media player, but it has the ability to capture video from your desktop. Uh, it can also capture from a TV, if you have a digital TV input, uh, or if you, if you have a video capture card, and it can also capture from a webcam. So, but you have to go to this desktop, say you want to capture from the desktop, I'm going to set frames per second to 15. If I click play right now, it'll just show my desktop, but it's not recording it anywhere. So what I have to do is go stream, I'll just show you. You can find, maybe I'll do a separate video about this one too. I'll just do it real quick. So you go open, you go down to desktop, frames per second up to 15, then you click here, go to stream then click next file add browse and this is where you're going to save the video to what you're going to call the video next your encoding i just keep it at h264 and mp3 and then click stream and your video will start so this is now streaming this uh this is the video capture right now and if i push stop so that made a seven second video all right well that's it so if you want to do some screencasting any one of these would be a great choice for you. Like I said, I kind of favor Open Broadcaster and Cam Studio um, in that order. But yeah, hopefully this video is informative for you. Check out some of my other ones. I have some videos on actual video editing and how to splice all this stuff together if you do use different ones or you want to put pictures in or some audio editing, stuff like that. So be sure to check that out, and we'll catch you next time.